Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. As you can see, in my downtime, I have research batteries, advanced electronics, that one, that one, and, and just everything that we need to research to finally get to the point we are at now. Logistic robots. Now, I can safely say I have no idea how to use these, so um, it's going to be guesswork when I finally get them, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'll probably cut to the part where we do it. Um, but actually, there's quite a bit of stuff to be done before that time. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's get back, let's get up to that chemical plant, and uh, of course, pass by our nice little monument to the aliens. I did disconnect the plastic, by the way, because it occurred to me that oil has a certain lifetime of usefulness, so I didn't want to use up all of the oil putting it into these things and making plastic, because I'm pretty sure petroleum gas can be used for other things. And I'll remind you, that is our only oil source, source in this world. Everything else is either guarded by aliens or just not even there, so I want to be saving this oil here. Seriously, seriously saving it. So, I disconnected that for now. I'm not sure if I'll need it or not. I wonder why you're not putting coal in here. I expect you to be putting coal. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, that's a mystery for another day. Um, what we need to do now is have a chemical plant making batteries, as I remember it. Yes, batteries are made in a chemical plant, and they require iron plates, copper plates, and sulfuric acid. Mm. That's bothersome. Okay, how do I make sulfuric acid? It's sulfur, water, and iron plates. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Sulfur, water, iron plates, um... And I need sulfur with water and petroleum gas. Okay. This, it does require petroleum gas in the end. So, I need to change this up a little bit. Because I'm going to be using this petroleum gas. Maybe I should even make a storage tank or two. Not five, actually. Maybe just one or two. <laughs> Five's a bit overkill. <laughs> Take this back a little. Don't need that much space. Put that right there, that, so now these storage tanks can be filled with petroleum gas, and I can have, um, two outputs. Now, I just realized I left all my supplies at the base, so I'm gonna go get those real quick. And we're back, back at the nice chemical plant, where I believe I will set up two outputs a little bit like this, just to make it extra simple for my simple little brain. Why do I not have any power poles? My god. What is this? Stone Age? Not having power poles. Absurd. And lights. For, for sight. Okay, so I'm gonna put one chemical plant here. Or... Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. And then another over here. I want this one to be making sulfur. Why is water? God. Hmm. I get one pipe and I want to change the direction of it just a tad. There we go. I believe with my pipe, where has it gone? There it is. Put it there. Yeah, there we go. Now power that. And I will have to pump water from the far away ocean. The real the thing I hate about crafting these pipe to grounds is if you do 5 with a right click, it has to craft 50 pipes. So kind of annoying in that respect. I'm going to need quite a few. Oh, did I not put ammo in these? God, I'm so... I just don't pay attention enough. At least it seems like the pollution isn't getting anywhere near these colonies yet. So, it's not too terribly bad. Raiders, what are you doing? You need to look at those things. You need to know where my enemies are. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to connect this to our chemical plant, and I'll meet you guys in a minute. And so there we are. Now water is safely pumping into our chemical plant. 
which will be producing sulfur at excruciatingly fast rates. I like how fast this thing works. Anyway, um, I don't know. Am I going to have to move my smiley face? No. I'll never do it. Not unless I absolutely have to. Okay, uh, the next thing we need... Oh my goodness, this is so complicated. Sulfuric acid. Iron plates, water, and sulfur. I should have simplified this a bit more. Okay, I'm going to change this design up a bit. More of these. Change this to there. Put the pipe. Where's my pipe? God darn, did you use my pipe to craft the pipe to ground? Of course you did. Darn game. Um, oh, did not do it right again. Put the pipe there. Okay, cool. Now, we'll just have this going over here. I'm doing this so I have room for an inserter in the input. Though, it does have multiple ingredients, so I may have to put them in myself anyway. Or just have one transport belt with an equal amount of each. Hmm. This is where I might have to learn how to use a splitter. The day has come. Chemical plant. I'm going to need more chemical plants, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Get another one, just to be safe. Okay. So, in this one, sulfuric acid, water, iron plates, and sulfur. Sulfur is... Can I take this out with my hands? I can as well. Okay. So that means it needs an inserter to take it out. Oh, god, I've already used up both in inputs. Um. Okay, yeah, I might just have to put this in by my hand. With, by, by hand. My god. Might just have to put this in by hand, but it's not such a big problem. Not the biggest one, anyway. Okay, there we go. That's working just fine. And now if you just put iron plates in... Ah, oh, sulfuric acid! Awesome. And now I can put this in a storage tank? Do I want to do that? Yeah, I might as well. Storage tank! Storage tank! So I can mass produce it. Yay! Oh yeah, this is just making plastic, so it's absolutely fine. Set that up a little bit. Okay, with the sulfuric acid, now I can make a battery with that, and... Oh yes, it comes into play. I put it the wrong way. It should be a wrapper. The worst wrapper ever. Put that there. Put it there! Put it there! There we go. This is making batteries, which requires iron and copper. Um, if I had an inserter going out of a chest, I, I really want to be lazy here. I wonder if I put both iron and copper in there, would it take out an equal amount of both? <gasps> it would! It's so smart! It's beautiful! Okay, so that works. Um. Now we can have them going out. Well, yay, we can mass produce batteries now. Awesome. So now, uh, just hook it up to a transport belt going all the way home again. Uh, home's not too far away. And there's a little spot there right for a chest, so I guess I'll do that now. And there we are, safely connected to our house, and here comes the first wave of batteries. Wow, everything crafted with a chemical station comes at such a decent rate. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Um, now I guess I'd better just rehook up this thing. Thing of a jigger with more transport belts. Which I might as well do now. It's such a simple task. No reason for any fancy any things. Um There we go. And then we just have one as an output going that way. And I've ran out of transport belts again. Awesome. Rehooked that up. So now everything should be working. Um, it looks like it. Definitely looks like nothing's going poorly anyway. Might have this hooked up to a... Uh, no, nah, because it kind of has to be in chest. Well, I could just have this going into the chest. Uh, it still wouldn't work. 
I've had my fair share of experience with transport belts and auto sorting systems. Um, let's just say I pretty much, this is the design I'm going to have and it's going to stay that way. Um, but this all looks very automated, I must say. Besides the iron. Always going to have to put more iron in, but that's absolutely fine. Much better than my last design, which you probably don't even want to see because it was all manual. Nothing was automatic, and it was very, very painful. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Logistic robots requires more green potions. Of course. Why wouldn't it? Green potions! Okay, um... This all looks to be doing very fine. I'll bring you guys back when we're done researching what we need to research. Here we are! Logistics Robots is completed! Effects. Roboport. Passive Provider Chest and Logistic Robot. Ooh, that looks exciting. I wonder where... Oh, it's all down here. Cool. Okay, so that's what we needed the plastic for. Wow, that needs that needs a lot of plastic. Um, okay, well, good thing we got a lot of plastic. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, let's craft up that. And um, sorry about this crafting cube, by the way. I expected it to take a lot longer than it did. So I just started crafting a lot of essentials just to have when I'm on recording so I don't have to... Uh, pause the recording and start it again to craft something, but um, I'll bring you guys back when this queue is <laughs> completed. In the meantime, I will start researching something new. Um, since I'm doing going down the road of logistic, character logistic slot one allows you to request items from the logistic network. That's cool. Allows you to send unwanted items to the logistic network. I don't feel like I'm that fancy yet, so I'm gonna press your chest. Hmm. Ooh, blue potions. I don't know how to make those yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually don't know what to research right now. Worker speed one? Ah, blue potions. Blue potions. I need to learn how to make blue potions. God darn it. Okay. Energy accumulator. Oh, okay. Uh, I bet I can get this. I can guess by the name that it accumulates energy in case there's a disaster and my steam engines are destroyed. And I'm guessing it's, uh, yeah, batteries. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get this, have it researching while I'm waiting, and I will bring you guys back when I have, uh, done stuff or to do stuff. Could be anything! Whoa, looking at this thing, this requires a lot of crafting. Mm, I might just have to uh, automate this. I mean, these only take like 0.5 seconds to craft. These take 0.5 seconds as well. 5 seconds. 8 seconds? 8 times 40 is like... <laughs> what the 30... <laughs> 320? That's that's a lot of seconds. I don't even know if I have that many seconds to live. Wow. Okay. Um yeah, I might have to automate making advanced circuits. You know what? That seems like a good idea because I I don't want to wait 320 seconds. That is way too long. I am going to make myself an automatic advanced circuit maker. Also, I'm expanding my workshop over here because I cannot be bothered. I am running out of room over there. <laughs> so that's like my my uh, version 1 workshop. This is going to be my version 2 workshop. Input, uh, what does electronic circuits need? Advanced electronic. Uh, two plastic, copper, and iron. Okay. Iron and output there those, this, and uh, to make it you just, okay that's pretty simple, not too too difficult, let's just line all these up, so they can be taken off, well actually I'm doing a terrible job here, 
you know what? I'm going to make this design and be back with you guys when A, this crafting queue is done, or B, I'm done making this. Probably, probably the latter. Yep, I knew it. I finished this design with an, a, an amount of time so acceptable it's disgusting. So, I'm going to hook all this stuff up, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Let me just fill these chests up a bit more. I was just keeping one item in there to help me remember which chests went where. Put one there, one there. I want to make this really simple. Go. Okay, that's about as simple as it can be. Boom, boom. Lights everywhere. Because lights are beautiful. Okay, let's see if it works. This is already a failure. Why did I have the copper belt running here? What the heck? And also, why... Oh my god, I've... I've ruined it, guys. <laughs> I've already ruined it. I think this has to be electronic circuits. This has to be copper wire. Does that make sense? Nope, this is facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay, now it's doing stuff. And all that needs is electronic circuits. Okay, only one inserter and two assembly machines had to be adjusted, so the design wasn't really flawed. My idiocy was actually working pretty well then. Anyway, uh, that does that take just as long to craft? It crafts faster in an assembling machine. Wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's going to be my red circuit chest good old chest of time saving and energy wasting but if we look I did add another steam engine unit as you can see on the map I've got another one there <laughs> I just I have so many steam engines now it feels disgusting but it's honestly holding up pretty well uh, should be good for at least two days now so yes this is crafting very very quickly much quicker than my inventory would I bet this design could be uh, kind of expanded if I had a few more things crafting more uh, advanced circuits, but eh, I can't be bothered with that. It's good at the rate it is now. I'll just AFK while watching DVZ, and it, it'll be fine. It'll be done in a few hours. So Okay, so what I need to do now, wait for my darn robo-port to finish, and then... Start crafting my first robot. How do I do that? I've got a robot here. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, iron plates, copper plates, steel, plastic, an electric engine unit. Um, I'm amazed I remembered the name of that. <laughs> Just looked at it. It's it's got a very unique look. So, and then two batteries. Okay, so I'm gonna. That's why I'm gonna need batteries for. And with the energy accumulators. Which, god darn it, why are they out of, always out of green potions? Maybe uh, that one green potion processor isn't cutting it. Perhaps I need more. Well, that's for another day. I'll just fill these four up, eight up again. Here we are. Should be good. Um, Okay, so I'm going to start crafting my first robot. I need more copper and plastic. Don't know why I don't have any copper. Got over an abundance of copper. In that chest, anyway. Might as well get some of that. And some more steel. Oh, and probably you guys already noticed this, but I expanded my storage capacity because it was overflowing. Not for the coal, because like coal is really not useful these days. Um, well, at least I have so much of it, it's just pointless, because I don't have to put it anywhere manually. Uh, I just had some inserters going into more chests, and now, as you can see, they're filling up to the brim with all of the items. Since these inserters cannot put any more items in this chest, they'll just fill up. So it's a pretty cool storage system. It's a lot like hoppers in Minecraft, where you have hoppers going into chests, and when chests fill up, the hoppers stop working. A lot like that. So how do I get an electric engine unit? Need an engine unit, lubricant. Oh, that's where lubricant comes in. Thought it came in somewhere. And an engine unit, made in assembly machines. Well, time to make more assembly machine machines. I actually really like assembly machines in this game. Very cool. 
total raw, I'll need uh, copper and iron, which seem to be the commodities for any machine, um, an engine unit, and lubricant. I'm just making this for now, so I'll need steel. Why is steel not in... Oh, I guess it's for the engine unit. Okay, well, I only need uh, steel and iron for this, then. And, okay. Yay, those are done. Awesome. I'll do those later. Uh, for now, I'm going to concentrate on this. I'll be back with you guys when I've finished this. Okay, there we go. An assembly machine... Machines, I guess. Making those good old electric... Sorry, engine units. Not electric yet. And fun fact, if you have an inserter putting an item on the ground, another inserter can put pick it up and put it into an assembly machine. So you, while you could have a transport belt here, uh, I mean, it would store more item more items technically, but it works just the same without one. So, that's... Wait. Does it? Oh, maybe it's just maxed out. Maybe it's not putting in an iron in. If I took this... Yeah, it's putting it in now. Okay, cool. So it was just maxed out at that time. Anyway, um... We already have our first engine unit. So now... To make an electric engine unit, you'd need lubricant, which is why it has to be made in an assembly machine. Soap! Time to... Soap? What the heck? <laughs> soap. <laughs> anyway, it's time to make an electric engine unit, which requires... Yeah, just a bunch of stuff in general. Just a bunch of stuff. Okay, guys. I've completed this design. As you can see, it's much smaller than you would have expected. After all, this took so much more. But why is it so much smaller, you ask? Well, I, I decided to be a bit more lazy than usual. Well, I don't really know what usual is, because I'm always lazy, but... I took the electronic circuits from here and wrapped them around in here, because the only reason this requires so much is because it requires electronic circuits and lubricant. The only other ingredient is engine units, which, um... Well, I can just take them out of here, pop them in here, and done. So, the last ingredient I'll need for this is actually lubricant, which, uh, the good thing about this is it tells you where the input is for the assembly machine on one that's producing something that needs a liquid. You have to put a pipe right there and pipe it into it, and, uh, not manually, sorry, just, just pipe it into it, basically. So, I will go over here. Do I need a chemical plant for this? God darn it. Ah, it's always one thing or another. Jeez. Oh my god. I might just have to automate the construction of underground pipes. Seems like we're going to have to automate every piece of equipment that requires a long time to craft, or at least longer than usual. Well, that's me. Good old Lazy Allen. Which is why I like this game. It gives you a chance to really express your inner lazy. Everything can be automated. Everything. It's beautiful. We're almost done with this queue, so I might as well just show you guys what we need to do next. We need to build a flying robot frame. And then, with that frame, we'll be able to use a few advanced circuits, which are easy to get now, thanks to our new design. And, um... Then we can have our first logistic robot, so... Whew, exciting. I wonder what I'm going to have it do first. Yeah. Take this here. Pop it down here. Lubricant. And... Power it. Yes. Hooray for being lazy. Oops, that can be expanded. <laughs> Must save all materials that are really hard to craft. Um, okay, cool. Now I can just get a pipe, or five. Take this, put it there. Underground pipe, please. Take this, put it there. Oh, really? Okay. 
It's the most pointless underground pipe. But it works. Okay, now that's pumping in lubricant, and yes, it is making electric engine units. And my lord, that takes a while, so... I guess it's no small feat. It's pretty good equipment. In any case, it looks like we've run out of iron up here. Put that in there. Man, I need to make sure I have all these chests stocked now. Oh well, that's only if I really need these items. Seems like I'm not going to very much after this. Unless I decide to make just an army of logistic robots, which would actually be really cool. I wonder if they, like, walk or fly? Well, I did have to research flight, so they're probably going to fly, to be honest. What should I research next? Um, see, I really want this, because I looked it up, and this is very, very helpful. But I uh, need to start getting blue potions. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to familiarize myself with blue potion construction. And see you guys in the next video, because I am wiped for now.